Hey, welcome back. I thought I'd show you guys real quick um, what I sold since yesterday morning. And um, it's actually starting to pick up, which feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Um, so I've got seven things uh, listed, or listed, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have seven things that I sold. I only have six of them with me because the other one sold on the way back. So I'll have to go back and get it. Um, which is the kind of the yucky thing about having a storage unit and not having stuff on site, but it is what it is. Um, so the first thing that I sold was this Roomba. Um, I bought this in a Goodwill for 17 bucks, and um, I have the virtual walls that go with it, and I have those listed, I think, for about 50 bucks. Um, so um, you know, once those sell that, that clears my profit or this sold. So it clears my, my, uh, cost of that. Sold this for $119. It has the cord in the docking station, $119, um, with free ship. And, um, I did test it. It does work. So, um, yeah, $17. Nice. Um, sold another one of those, e-cig starter kits that we got from the pallet um, that's $36.99 with free ship um, I parted out that Ronco rotisserie and these are the skewers for the rotisserie there's six of them I sold these for $16.99 plus shipping for a total of $21.10 um, these I bought for like a dollar or something. I bought a whole bunch of them, sent them to Amazon, never did sell them. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but they are the handle grips for crutches. Um, I sold these for $7.99 shipped. I bought this, I believe, last week. Um, this is a Bla Beyblade Arena. I always buy these when I find them, um, but check the condition first because it's really common for the base to be cracked or in the case of this one there's like a, a dent in it um, and you need to disclose those things and of course that does affect the price I paid 90 cents for this arena these are kind of a pain in the butt to ship because they're so big but um, this sold for $15 shipped next thing I sold and I've had this for a while I bought it a lot of cameras and I've sold some of them already um, but this, I was smart enough to figure out how to open it. This is a Polaroid Spectra, uh, instant camera with a case in the manual. Sold this for uh, $18.98 plus shipping for a total of $27.70. Uh, and then, um, I sold one other thing and, uh, I'll have to go back and get that. Um, so I'm going to get these things shipped. And I'm going to talk about the Etsy challenge that we have going on this week and in the Facebook group and um, also Facebook Marketplace. So um, I'm going to get my work done and I'll come back and talk to you. <clears throat> so, mm -hmm. I have spent most of the day um, really working through... Uh, listings and um, I had about 70 things to relist and I didn't want to bulk relist them because I wanted to make sure that those listings um, were tasty tasty for your mobile device and um, surprisingly there were a, quite a few that were not and I know at this point there's not really a way, there's so much irony in the statement I'm getting ready to make. There's no way to make a, a listing mobile friendly if you're creating it on your mobile device. What? Anyway, it should, in my estimation, recognize that you're creating that listing on the app so it should make it mobile friendly by default but I am not eBay and I don't make those kinds of decisions so I, I cannot explain that so I think that there were quite a few listings that were probably 
um, created on my phone because sometimes if I'm sitting in doctor's offices or sitting in the car waiting for my child to go into the grocery store, she's 26, she's not four. She, my child can go in the, the grocery store. She's 27. Oh God, she's not my oldest one. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Um, you know, I'll create a listing on my phone, you know, if I've got pictures already taken, which a lot of times I do. But anyway, so I have worked through a lot of those and I have tweaked some shipping and um, there were a couple that I found that had same day um, handling time. And I don't, I don't know why, because I don't offer same day handling time. And, you know, you have to be cautious of things like that because those can cause defects and we don't want defects, okay? So, um, that being said, right now going on in the Facebook group, um, one of the members and my friend Chris has um, thrown down the gauntlet and made a challenge of uh, listing five Etsy um, listings this, this week. And that doesn't seem like much of a challenge if you already regularly list on Etsy, but um, when you are used to a platform and then you try to switch, it can be uncomfortable and it can be clunky. So um, she has thrown down that um, that challenge. And I recommend to you, if, if eBay is your only platform, you might want to think about spreading out. I'm not very good about handling lots of different platforms, but I'm work, trying to work through that. And I'll use your support to help me work through that and your advice to help me work through that if you're somebody that sells on multiple platforms. Um, again, I'm, I'm still not listing on eBay or excuse me, on Amazon really. And I really need to have all of my inventory sent back to me, but quite frankly, I don't want to lay out the money to have all of this stuff shipped back. I don't even want to lay out the money to have it destroyed, but which they don't destroy it. No, they resell it in pallets. But anyway, I digress. Um, anyhow, and while we're talking about stretching out and looking at new platforms, I just want to share my experience of um, Facebook Marketplace because I've gotten very aggressive on Facebook mar Marketplace as far as listing some things that maybe were too large to ship. Not for me, because y'all know me, I'll try to ship anything. But because of the size versus the, the value of the item, it just didn't make sense for a customer to buy them. And some of the things that you know, just are stagnant and they're not selling, but they might sell in the local market just as well. Um, I have been listing those on, um, on Facebook marketplace. And as soon as those sell, I go ahead and take them off eBay. Um, remember that if you're listing on Facebook marketplace, it is valuable to be a part of other reselling groups, buy, sell, trade groups that are in your area because you can list it on the marketplace and all of those um, at the same time with the touch of a button. So um, I um, started really listing a couple of days ago, but I really listed a lot of things yesterday and I've listed several things today. And so far I've made $80 yesterday cash people came and bought stuff from me at my door and I don't normally do that. I, I normally do porch pickup um, where they just, uh, they leave the money and they take the item. Um, but these were kind of higher dollar. Some of them were higher dollar and I just didn't want to leave them on the porch. But anyway, um, so I made $80 last night and I made $20 already this morning and I just saw a message come across on my phone that somebody else is interested in one of the products um, that I listed today. So I recommend to you to explore that if you're in the right setting. Now, if you live in the middle of the country, if it's terribly rural, it might not be profitable for you. Um, 
or uh, you know unless you, maybe you're you're willing to travel but if you live in a suburban setting urban setting small town even you know if you're in the town it might be worth it to look at listing some of those items there so for example yesterday I sold, sold a sewing machine that I bought for nine dollars and sold for forty um, I sold two mannequins that I thought I would use in my business they were st old store mannequins um, like dress form type that I have had listed on eBay they're not selling and I decided I wanted them out of my way I sold those for forty dollars for both of them which was a steal but I got cash it was more than I paid for them and they're gone um, they sold within hours and then um, yeah that's all I sold yesterday I sold some Shopkins today that I had um, so just it's an it's an opportunity to make some more money um, another thing that I wanted to talk about just briefly mm -hmm, is what do you do if you're starting out with no money I mean you have no money to buy products because this was a topic that was brought up yesterday and so I came up with some solutions and I feel feel free to post your comments about this below your creative ways to come up with money when uh, to, to get product when you don't have cash when every five dollars counts in your family um, you're struggling that hard and you just don't have money uh, we've talked about this a little bit before I just want to e reiterate it in this video so one of the things you can do is just look around your house I mean you probably have items that you don't use anymore and they will have I um, they will have value on eBay um, toys kids toys because um, I like to sell toys so I know that there are lots that have value um, board games clothing can be you know the right the right clothing can be look around your house are there old electronics do you have an old cell phone that you know you you want to sell um, whatever it is look around and see what you have if you even if you don't think that it might have value look it up you'd be surprised that's the first thing another thing is um, bartering can you either babysit or cut grass or um, pound sand well I don't think that one would I don't think you can make money with that one um, for cash or for products that people have um, you know is that a possibility you know if that doesn't work for you drive around town when it's trash day people throw away valuable stuff I promise you even if it's a broken vacuum cleaner I bet there are parts that you can part out um, even if it's something that is too big for you to ship I bet you can sell it on Facebook marketplace um, also dumpster dive and I always recommend that if it's safe if it's um, convenient because you don't want to have to drive into a city you know if it's if you're if you're there already if, if you've got that the availability to you go ahead and do it and if it's legal double check to make sure it's legal in your area um, you can find some good stuff there some surprising stuff um, a lot of times um, retail stores throw away product they throw away fixtures they throw away packing materials whatever it is so those are some ideas um, you know if you're if you're a country per person if you got chicken sell some eggs if you got goats sell some milk I mean there, there are lots of things you can do can you sell baked goods can you have a yard sale with some of those items that maybe you wouldn't sell on eBay to make some money to source because I'm telling you you can start doing this with a really small amount of money and you should be starting this with a relative small amount of money because I don't want you to spend two hundred dollars and make a lot of bad decisions because you don't have experience I would rather see you spend twenty dollars and maybe double that um, with maybe you know one or two items being a bad bad buy because those are gonna happen you you need those uh, mistakes so that you can learn from them because nobody learns by being successful um, you you almost need to make the mistakes 
so that they are powerful and they stay with you. So anyway, um, that's all I wanted to talk about today was those couple of things. You know, go ahead and, and stretch out your uh, platforms. There are lots out there. I'm playing it kind of safe, ones that I'm a little more comfortable with. But I did list some stuff on Etsy today. And um, I listed about 40 or 50 items on eBay today. I've taken pictures. I gotta go clean up that group, that storage unit because it is craziness. I'm telling you, it's a mess. But, um, you know, I don't know what happened. Some of the words got all mixed up. I don't even know if I knew what I was gonna say. But I just wanna encourage you um, and, and tell you that you can start selling with very, very little money. And if you need to ask questions and you feel nervous about that, you, you don't want to get publicly shamed, um, go join the Facebook group and send me a private message. I'll respond to you. Send me a comment um, and, and, and ask that um, I contact you on Facebook or something and I'll do it and I'll answer any questions that you have and I don't know everything but I can at least help you get started and that's what that's why I'm here is to help you get started and help you um, you know grow your business uh, I tell you right now I am tired because I sat and worked all day and um, this is a real job. And if you treat it that way, you will make money. And I have not had a history of treating it that, treating it that way. And I still make money. So um, just, just start. Just start and find some support, whether that be my Facebook group, another Facebook group, a friend that sells. Just get some support and we will help you get through this. With that being said, just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working and I'll see you the next time.